Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to find low competition keywords using vidIQ, okay? So let's just get back to my dashboard and right here you can see my vidIQ dashboard. If you don't have the dashboard set up, just log into your vidIQ account and once you log into your vidIQ account, you want to click right here on keywords, okay? Because to find low competition keywords, we're going to use the um, vidIQ keyword research tool. So just click on keywords and once you click on keywords, you have to input the keyword here. So let's just get into our tutorial outline. Now the first step is to decide a niche, you know, or the specific area where you want to make your videos. So let's say you're like me and you love crypto. So uh, you could decide to make a video on crypto. However, that isn't a niche and you need to find a sub niche within crypto. So let's say uh, a popular crypto project, which uh, right now is Zen Crypto. OK, so let's just type in Zen Crypto again. This is really just for the sake of the tutorial. You could make videos about um, anything really from makeup to growing on YouTube or uh, graphics design or whatever. So whatever topic it is, just type that into the search bar right here. Once you do that, you'd have a result from vidIQ. So right here, the overall score tells you um, how good the topic is. When it's very high or you know above 80 right now, just shows you that it's a topic that you have a high chance of ranking for okay so you vidiq shows you the search volume right here and the competition right here the competition is basically you know how many people and how many videos on youtube there are on that specific topic you know how many creators are making videos on that topic and how many videos are there on that topic the search volume is simply how many people search for that specific topic every month on YouTube or within the past month on YouTube, okay? So since this just measures the average or estimate of the search volume in the past month, just know that it's something that can change as time goes by, okay? This will go up next month or come down to say, 120 or 100 okay so right now you know what the overall score is you know the competition and search volume so for the next part of the tutorial i'll show you how to find keywords okay so once you've gotten the main keyword you want to find sub keywords that have low competition and search volume now we already established that the main keyword here which is zen crypto has um low competition and you know decent search volume okay so to find video ideas and low competition keywords we're going to use these three sections the first section is your related keywords the second section is your matching terms and the third section is your questions now how do you use this if you're a channel that makes videos on tutorials let's see how to do stuff how to bad zen crypto how to uh see zen crypto portfolio how to do this or that you know if you're a tutorial channel then you want to click on the questions section okay but if you're a channel that makes you know a personal brand video or you like viral video ideas then you want to use the matching terms and the related keywords section so let's just go over this and you know help you understand it better so the first section is the questions section under every section we have the search volume the competition and the most important part is the overall score okay so the search volume like i said before is basically how many people search for these keywords uh, every month or how many people searched for this keyword in the past month and then the competition is basically how many videos they are and the overall score is the most important factor here because it tells you the balance between the search volume and the competition okay so if you click right here on this drop down vidiq will just arrange the video ideas based on the search volume 
If you click here, VidIQ would arrange the video ideas based on the competition. And if you click here, VidIQ would give you a balanced and overall, you know, score um, of every topic. You know, it's just balance the search volume and the competition and then rank the videos as such. OK, so it gives you the best video ideas that you can potentially rank for because they have low competition and, you know, also get views because they have higher search volume. So, for example, what is Zen Crypto? Is Zen Crypto legit? Is Zen Crypto a good investment? You know, all of these are video topics that a channel that makes tutorials or how to videos can use. But if you don't make tutorial videos, then you want to click on either the matching terms or the related keywords. So what is the difference between your matching terms and your related keywords? Well, for the most part, they're actually applied the same way because they both give you keywords that relate to the main keyword that we're searching which in this case is zen crypto and then they allow you form your own video ideas and that's what makes them different from the questions section so the question section gives you you know questions which are just you know video ideas that you can create and then upload to your channel however if you want to create viral video ideas by yourself for your channel you want to click on matching terms and then click on overall and then you know use these terms to um, basically create video ideas so let's say what is zen crypto zen crypto coin tool okay this is basically a tool within zen crypto so you can definitely craft a viral video idea from this keyword so let's say i tried zen crypto coin tool for 20 days and here are my results okay that's a viral video idea that you can craft from this keyword okay so right here i've shown you how to do keyword research for the most part okay i've shown you how to find your niche find a keyword within that niche that has low competition and high search volume analyze every keyword and then you know rank them based on search volume and competition find sub keywords by using other questions matching terms or related keywords and then um and then um uh, analyze your keywords based on search volume and competition so right here if i were to make a video on vidiq i'll just sort this by overall and then choose the keywords that have high search volume but low competition and then just you know craft video ideas based on those keywords if you found this video helpful kindly leave us a like and a comment 